The Thomas Way. Hasn't it been his way for about eight series now? Montague is a little green tank engine. Ouch! But everyone Ooh, calls him Duck belt because the so other much. engines used to say he waddled. Before Duck came to the island of Sodor, he worked on the mainland. On That's the Paddington, you hear? Paddington! Duck always works hard, and he always does things the great western way. Sorry, I only bought one sling, even though I was told there were two of you. And flew them to safety. But when he went to take off again... Oh no! Uh, my rotors are jammed! And my acting is becoming more... Shatner. So, Duck was called to Callan Castle. The fat controller was waiting for him. Duck, you are to take Harold to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center to be repaired. Yes, sir. Who are? But, sir, I'm so tall and my floats are so wide. How can I travel by rail? I don't want to bash into things. Don't worry, Harold. Thomas will be Doc's back engine. He hasn't had an episode with himself this year, so I think all starring with Doc will make it a good one. Gaps. Now, don't be sad, Harold. Ducky, we'll get you there in what are you time. doing? I know, Doc. Stop. I just like being up in the sky. You'll see things differently up there. As they were travelling along, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Oh, God! I know how we can make Harold feel better. We can show him all the sights of Sodor from the ground. That sounds like fun. But Duck wasn't so keen. There is only two ways to do things, Thomas. The Great Western Way and the wrong way. Anyone who does it the wrong way will be sent straight to hell. Also known as the Southern Way. Rescue Center without dilly dallying and without any fun. Thomas, narrow bridge. Okay, you're clear. Wow. That was a pathetic musical accompaniment to that scene. Maybe we could take you past the animal park, Harold. You could see all the animals close up. That would be nice. Sorry, Harold, but the animal park is not on our way. I know. We could take Harold across the Sodor Suspension Bridge. I must say, that sounds very exciting. But it's still not on our way. We must take you directly and promptly to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. It's the Great Western Way. Duck I'm not liking the sound of the Great, great Western, Western Way. way I don't think it's as that. great as it's been this built up to be. Cross. Harold, I really want to show you Nap for Station, but I don't think Duck will let me. Are you then surprised? Thomas had another idea. <gasps> Duck, I forgot to tell you. We need to go to Napa Station. Don't buy it, Duck. We still have a member of the old writing team on this episode. Thomas, if we need to go to Napford Station, we must go there directly and promptly. So Duck headed toward Napford Station. By contacting the signal bird telepathically. Oh my! Look at that! Just wait till you see inside. It's... Stop! What's the matter? Just stop! Oh, Sorry, I wanted Harold to be a convertible. To go into the station. But... Express coming through! Helicopter on the line? That's a new one, I'll give you that much. Come out! 
Now I'll never be on time. The fat controller couldn't believe his eyes. But apparently Thomas, the passengers can. What are you doing well, it is so after all. We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold, sir. What nonsense! The engineer is waiting for Harold at the search and rescue center. Thomas? Suspicion intensifies. Uh... Oh! What? No, the indignity. Now, Duck was cross with Thomas. You tricked me, Thomas. But from now on, we will be sticking to the great Western way of doing things. We will be going directly and promptly to the search and rescue centre. Nice to see Thomas is bored with that place as well, out. I guess. Don't worry, Thomas. You tried. Thomas looked up ahead. He could see they were approaching a tunnel. He knew that Harold's rotors were too wide to fit through. Stop, Duck. We need to go the other way. I'm not falling for another one of your tricks, Thomas. Or you refuse to do a similar stun like that, another two. Oh, crap. Duck, stop! Ah! Harold's and that's blades how I broke my the puzzle. Walls. The engines knew they couldn't move Harold any further without help. Soon, engineers arrived to free Harold. Then, the fat controller arrived as well. He was very cross. Oh, Harold needs even more repair. You two have caused confusion and delay twice in one day. Even for this railway, that is an achievement. Yes, sir. We have, sir. Well then, you must both get Harold to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center now. It wasn't long before the engineers managed to free Harold. Thomas and Duck pulled him out Next of the time tunnel. I'll go by road. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, Thomas. This was all my fault. It was my fault too. I shouldn't have tricked you in the first place. Now, let's get Harold to the Search and Rescue Center. But how do we get to the search and rescue center without going through any tunnels? I know if only we, we can could take. speak to the audience. We can go the they Thomas way. What's the Thomas way? Let me go in front and I'll show you. So the two engines swap okay. jobs. I know Thomas isn't accurate to an E2 and Duck isn't accurate to a Pania, but the models were never that out of scale. It wasn't as prompt or direct, but it didn't go through any tunnels. Thomas and Duck are- Hold on a second. Zoom in. That's the Misty Island Tunnel. And do my eyes deceive me? Has it been boarded up? Could it be? Oh my god. They did. They pulled through. Provided the by Doc Search and Rescue Please Center. To his channel. The engineer was waiting to repair Harold. <laughs> Bye, Thomas. Yeah. Bye, Doc. Well, see you in five years, Doc. Thank you. You're, You're welcome, welcome, Harold. You knew something, Thomas. I think there might be three ways of doing things. Really? The Great Western Way, the Wrong Way, and the Thomas Way. But the Great Western Way is usually the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, two and five years, Duck. Bill. Now, for those who have forgotten ben. about these characters, Bill and Ben are tank engine twins. They look very alike. Very alike indeed. <laughs> Morning, Ben. <laughs> Morning, Bill. 
That's wow. why they have names. 18 seconds into their summit. turn and they're already up to something. Which one is Bill? And which one is Ben? Bill and Ben like looking alike because that means they can play tricks on the other engines. To be fair, they've only done it once. One twice in Bill and Ben existed. were making their way along the main line. When a very fast engine came across the junction in front of them and gave them a big surprise. Who was that, Bill? I don't know, Ben. Why do I have the feeling they were saying that a lot that day? Thomas, did you see that very fast engine that just went past? You mean Connor. He's one of the new streamlined engines, bringing money to hit from pockets. He must be very full of himself, racing about like that and surprising other engines. Connor's not full of himself. He's Spencer, a very on the other hand. Engine. But Bill and Ben didn't listen to Thomas. I do just love Thomas's face. Even he's given up on it too, and they've only just returned. Bill and Ben were passing through Henry's tunnel then. Come on there! Connor passed them again. Coming back the other Sodor way. does look good and awesome, doesn't it? Was that him again, Bill? I think it was, Ben. Ooh, maybe we should teach that Speedy Wheels a lesson, Ben. Maybe we should, Bill. <laughs> yes. So Let's talk to the new guy who has done to almost nothing to offend Connor. us in any way possible. You two are real dicks. The next time Connor came across the bridge from the mainland, Bill was there waiting for him. Hello, Speedy Wheels. Hello there. I'm Connor. And, and for some I'm reason, Bill. Irish, despite being an American How about engine. About race, Connor. You and me up to Ulfstead Castle. I can't race you, Bill. That wouldn't be fair. I'm way too fast. <laughs> Maybe if I only used one piston. One piston? Nonsense. You go as fast as you like. You'll be surprised how fast I am. Very surprised. Okay, Bill. If you say so. Sausages. The two engines hurried off. But Bill was quickly left far behind. That is the face of evil if ever I saw it. What a silly tank engine, thinking he could beat a fast, modern, streamlined engine like me. Okay, maybe he's a bit full of himself. Connor arrived at Ulfstead Castle. He was surprised. What took you so long? I thought you'd be fast. <laughs> Connor thought it was the same engine he had seen near the bridge. But it wasn't Bill, it was Ben. How... what... how did you do that? I didn't see you pass me. Or hear you rush by me. <laughs> or feel the wind you surely would have created so if you did pass me. You would have just and why are your blur? scratches different? Don't worry about it. We can race again. Back to the bridge, perhaps. You're on! So the two engines got ready to race again. Get on! <laughs> and there, this time, Connor wasn't taking any chances. He was so determined to beat the little tank engine that he didn't see the signal turn red until it was too late. Then there was trouble. Henry, watch out! <gasps> you gotta love Connor, how Henry made absolutely no doing. attempt to break you during the sequence. I knew he suffered from depression, but I didn't think it would have gone that bad. Because just then, the fat controller arrived. I don't know how they do things on the mainland, Connor, but safety comes first on my railway. No engine is allowed to pass through a red signal. I'm it is also sorry, essential sir. that any I, I authority figure makes as many hand gestures as then possible Bill to extend along. his point. Oh dear! What happened here, sir? And so did Ben. Oh no! Has Connor broken down, sir? Looks like Connor decided to race on one piston after you all. You played a trick on me. 
You aren't really faster than I am. Bill and Ben. I might have known you two would be behind this. It's high time I put a stop to your tricks once and for all. Ooh. <laughs> Technically, Fat Man, you have no the control. The Fat Controller sent Bill to really the should Steam be at to be repainted a different colour so that everyone would be able to tell Bill and Ben apart. Hello, Bill. I've been expecting you. I believe okay, you're kids. here to be repaid. Whenever someone with I'm a Hispanic a accent says oh, he's been expecting you, you must want my twin, Bill. Run away. I'll go and get him. Oh, no, you don't. You're trying to trick me just like the fat controller said you would. <laughs> so Bill was painted a different color. And it was at that moment <laughs> that all <laughs> railway enthusiasts' hearts Bill wasn't happy. Now he and Ben looked different. It was no fun at all. Then Ben had an idea. The next day, Ben came to the steamworks when Victor wasn't there. Hello, Kevin. I'm Bill. I'm here to be repainted. The fact Who are Frog you? sent me. Bill? But... You were repainted yesterday. Really? I don't remember that. Surely I should be a different colour if I'd been repainted. Uh, maybe you should wait, Bill, uh, until Victor gets back. Or perhaps, if you won't let me be repainted, I should tell the fat controller. No, don't do that. Oh, you'd better be repainted, Ben. I'm probably you looking too deep into this, Bill? but that I line mean, to me suggests Bill? that Kevin knew it was Ben and just wanted to screw with Victor's smoke box. I like the new colour, Ben. It really suits you. And suits a spoiler for Teller the Brave was given away. <laughs> what is going on here, Kevin? By the time Victor came back, it was too late. Bill and Ben were already the same colour. <laughs> Trick you! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh. Sorry, I boss. hate these returning engines. Bill and Ben were on their way again when they saw Connor up ahead. Oh, look, Bill! There's Connor! Maybe he <laughs> Can these guys give Connor a break? He hasn't engine. done anything! Well, Ben, I believe I was the one sent to be repainted. I'll see if he'd like to race back to the Steamworks. Hello, Connor. Recognise me? Not really. Care to race again? Hmm. Now that I know there's only one of you that colour... Sure. Back to the Steamworks, then. I'll see you when you finally get there. Maybe. Hey, Andrew, are you sure the script is finished? There's no moral. Ah, screw the moral. I'm going drinking. Gone fishing. Not to be confused with the song of the there same name. There are many cranes on the island of Sodor. Great big cranes that always stay in one location. Like Merrick. Well, technically speaking, he can move left and right. And Cranky down at random docks. Ah, oh, not the face. There are also cranes like Rocky who can be shunted to wherever there is work to be done. But there is one crane who can make his own way to where he is needed. And that's Harvey, the crane. Ah, what's he doing here? If we didn't expect him to come back. That needs lifting. Harvey is just the engine for the job. One day, Harvey was loading flatbeds at random docks. I'm guessing Cranky needed help again. Porter was working. Harvey had never met Porter before. I've done and that joke Porter already. I'm not doing it again. Engine. Hey there! And before you point it out, really there is still yet to be engine. a clean UK version I of this say, episode. Sorry for the really inconsistency. Crane. <laughs> I'm a crane engine, so uh, you can say either, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Then I suppose you must be doubly useful. And therefore, I regard amongst us Indians. A pleasure. Uh, and I didn't expect him to be Scottish either. 
then again, I didn't expect them to have Bromley accents either. What's he doing down at the docks? He's probably trying to go fishing, Bill. <laughs> Better put your hook in the water, Harvey, if you want to catch something. <laughs> oh, they're always teasing like that. You know, there's a thin line between teasing and racism. Just saying. Then there was trouble. Watch where you're going, Bumpy Boiler. <laughs> Bumpy Boiler. Also, that was just a bad <laughs> joke. They must have been listening going. to Charlie. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am a Bumpy Boiler. See what I mean? They're always saying teasy things. That makes it's fun okay, of itself. Harvey. I'm proud of my three domes. I find them very useful. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. They're what makes me special. Besides, water off a duck's back. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I don't let it bother me. I just let what they say slide out of my mind. The way water slides off a duck's back. There's your lesson, kids. Episode over. Go back to Ooh. picking your nose. Later, Harvey had loaded all the flatbeds ready to be taken to Vickerstown. That's it! This cargo's ready to go! Edward was supposed oh, to pull this God, out of this machinery, voice. but he's been delayed. We'll have to find another engine. Oh, how about Bill and Ben? They're not doing anything. Oh, we just remembered. We have to get back to the clay pits right There's away. There's a pretty good comic on Deviant, <laughs> right. which pretty much we makes fun of this scene. Link in the you description. You wouldn't believe it. Why don't you take the train, Harvey? You're not just a crane. You're an engine, too. You've been uh, away for so what? long, and we need you to start uh, pulling some weight pull around here. Cargo. Sorry. Um, rules are rules. I don't think I'm very good at it. <laughs> well, you don't have to pull them, Harvey. That's right. You can pick them up with your hook and carry them if you like. like it probably fish. would yes, be a good time like to remind fish. them that if it wasn't for Harvey, they'd still be stuck at the docks. Water off a duck's back. With salty Remember? stories and cranky Water shouting off at a them. duck's back. Maybe I will take these flatbeds to Vickerstown. That would be an excellent idea. I quite agree. Ah, just how on earth, earth do you keep teleporting important. everywhere Let's at the most inconvenient of times? What a fine engine you can be. Off to our meeting, then. What they were doing in so, that meeting, you don't want to know. Line of heavy flatbeds. Harvey felt proud as he pulled the heavy flatbeds toward Vickerstown. Harvey was usually only busy when there were things to be lifted. But there was no reason why he couldn't pull things also. Well, I'm apart from a lot of unnecessary weight an and a lack of power and a lack of range Harvey got to and would have been useful in an emergency. As he but made really his way up the steep slope. Up else. But apart from that, the flat no reason got a lot so. harder to pull. They felt very heavy indeed. To be fair, oh, he is going up the Colby Fell incline. Nice oh, to see the animators oh, keeping Gordon's Hill really difficult. consistent. When I thought, oh. Keep going, Harvey. You can do it. That's right, Thomas! I can do it! Pointless Thomas cameo away! At last, Harvey reached the top of Gordon's Hill. Ooh. Uh, I did it! Can I also and just say I completely sympathise with Harvey as I have been in a fairly similar situation like this. Harvey went I am desperately in his head. As he hurried down the slope with the heavy train pushing him forward. Pulling a heavy train downhill is much easier than I thought! <laughs> no, you think? But when Harvey reached the next bend, he suddenly realised that he was going much too fast to be safe. Awkward editing! Oh. Oh. Luckily, nobody was hurt. Apart from the guard who had severely scalded oh, himself due to I having a very hot cup of tea, but no one cares I didn't about him. I think I'd be any good at it. 
Oh, I hope Bill and Ben don't see me. They would say teasy things. You can pick them up with your hook and carry them if you like. Like fish. Yes, like fish. <laughs> yes, I have a hook. Oh, so yeah. Pick up these derailed flatbeds. Ha! Bill and Ben couldn't do that. I'm sorry for questioning Angry Benner because apparently he is now God, but he's using track master logic here. This is the sort of stuff you make in your own little models that you did as a child. I have got it. God knows I did. Control. Ah, right you are, Harvey. Random Gordon cameo away. Soon Harvey had all his flatbeds of heavy equipment back on the track. He was quickly coupled up and hurried on his way to Vickerstown. Well, as fast as an engine of his size can go. That he would have to pull hard That's even steeper than Gordon's Hill. Where are they? <laughs> or is he heading back? It's and hard to tell. This to episode isn't that consistent. On, on the way down. So as not to go too fast. So you know, you're not as big as you boasted to be. I'm a short fat man. What did you expect? Why do you think my wife's cheating on me? Docks. Harvey, by safely delivering all the heavy flatbeds to Vickerstown... You know, it has been recorded, but I know for a fact that the fat man had a real go at Harvey Argo. after he heard about the accident. You are a really useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, and sir... It's a double useful thing to have a hook. I'm kind of like Bell, but more realistic when you think of it. Why are we laughing? Please tell me why we're laughing. I want to be part of the club too. And now, a word from our sponsor. This concludes the word from our sponsor.